اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا رائع بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله ولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل وصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراج المنير أما بعد الحمد لله الله has blessed me again to have a, a very lovely brother here uh, in this world no one is immune Allah says in the Quran inna kunna mubtalin everyone will be tested and this brother is going through tests how are you brother assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh how is everything alhamdulillah alhamdulillah when did your issues started in brief it's roughly around one month ago all right subhanallah yeah yeah can you explain in details how did you notice and how did it started and well the first one i started to feel a little bit down usually i'm quite a positive person and um and then one morning i woke mm-hmm. the middle finger was seized mm-hmm. in a weird position so mm-hmm. it was like some sort of weird symbol or a weird sign and it was like that for a no- few weeks mm-hmm. and um so then again so it, taking that into consideration it probably be two months so around four weeks it was like that and then it was just painful every morning i tried to do wudu and it was hurting and i thought this is strange that's not normal and that was the first time i thought this is weird i've never had any really health issues or anything so it was a bit of, mm-hmm. and then um the second sign of symptom i realized was um i think i was in bed and i was extreme itching on my right side and as i was itching and itching and itching scratching myself mm. i was getting big welts on my body massive marks marks and i was overheating in the bed sweating and sweating but it's cold and it was very cold weather mm, that's correct yeah that's what was happening and that was the first two signs yeah and then what happened what did you do after you start seeing these signs and thinking as a human being you must think what's going on here yeah i thought mm. well, obviously i had no explanation mm. and then um as that was continuing Right. And eventually I start feeling down, feeling sad for no reason. Depression. Yeah, start feeling emotional, start crying for no mm, reason. Subhanallah. Man. Feeling like I was going to die. Mm. Suddenly like fear of death. Mm, subhanallah. And then after that, I start feeling certainty like I'm going to die. Okay. I feel yeah, yeah. my chest, mm. I had like my heart was squeezing. So, is the yeah. thought or it's the feeling? The feeling as well. Feeling. You had I'm feeling yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because of my chest I started to feel like palpitations in my heart was really fast. And that's when I thought I was having some sort of heart problem or something like health issue. That was the initial thought that I had. Subhanallah. May Allah make it easy for the believing men and women. After that what steps did you take? Did you go to hospital? Yeah. And then what happened? What happened was um I started getting the heart problems really bad like pulsating and I thought maybe I'm having some sort of heart issue or something. And one night it got so bad I called an ambulance. and then the ambulance took me in and they like assessed me did an ECG took me to the hospital I did a blood test and um they said there's a, 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 ch- uh, a scan on my chest nothing wrong nothing wrong but a weird incident happened inside of the hospital the lady she did you know the blood test yeah yeah uh, the, the syringe yeah the syringe and um because my veins were sticking out she said oh, it's going to be easy to withdraw blood mm. and as she put the needle in no blood came out subhanallah and she was shocked she was looking at me and then said What is happening here? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not normal. So then she removed it to the other arm, and blood was flowing normally. Oh, right. so and that is the exactly the right hand side. Right. That you... the problems all on my right side. Side, yeah. 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 That's why the shaitan dwells, isn't it? Yeah. It's... Then after that, what conclusion did you made? What? Well, after she said you're perfectly fine, there's no issue. It's just there's nothing wrong with your chest. It's perfectly normal. The blood results came back perfectly healthy. But I explained to her I was starting to get these sensations for a few days where it felt like ants crawling in my, inside my my leg like a pins and needle feared sensation shooting up and down my right. And I thought is this connected to that blood issue? The, that's correct. She she was looking at me like I was strange. She was yeah. Saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's yeah. fine. You just, yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And I was frustrated. I said, "Can you not tell me what this is?" Yeah. Well, you see w- w- what happens is that the medics cannot find. Yeah. the problem of jinns and everything when you have yeah. they will just come out with maybe is this maybe is that or they will just come out like just you mm-hmm. that you're fine there's nothing there yeah yeah she, she was like there's nothing when we yeah. go home you know mm-hmm. I was like no this is a serious issue yeah like you know there's some problem and, yeah. you know, can yeah. you not like do any more tests she was like no just yeah. go home you'll be fine recently two three days ago there was a girl came who was in the hospital for three months or or more than three weeks. I'm not sure the number, but yes. three weeks or more than three months. Mm. 
the doctors have no clue what's wrong with her wow and her situation deteriorating right she vomits eats she vomits she's nine years old wow and then somebody has done something to seher this is why we always recommend when you have issues you go both side you go to the medics and get yes. checked at the same time you go to the quran read the quran on yourself or go to somebody who is good to read on you and diagnose you correctly. Mm. Well, like myself, I thought, I didn't think of any spiritual issue. Praying five times a day, I thought maybe I'm okay, a health issue. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. From there, when I left, I was like, well, what could it be? That's correct. Oh, you know, I start, start having question marks. Got worse. Now I've acknowledged <coughs> this weird sensation. Mm. It started to become a little bit painful. I got worse that's... and worse. And that's when I um, started to try and read. Uh, I looked at symptoms of... Uh, possession just random accident i've come across that and then as i'm trying to read start having question marks and yes i just couldn't read all right okay. in the quran that's like al fatiha like, because i do it every day that was mm. easy as soon as i got to certain verses that was specific for surah yeah, fatiha yeah. Surah, that was fine i read mm. that fine mm. and there were certain verses in surah baqarah mm, they, 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 yeah that like, surah is a tough one uh, uh, like this like and then a strange voice started to come out mm. uh, a weird evil voice mm, subhanallah and, and then i'm doing it again it started laughing like i started laughing like, why am i laughing when i, I, saw I remember you told me you made dua and start having issues yeah yeah Th- that's when it started is it yes yes that was right just prior to all of these symptoms the hand i was like making dua and all that you know i need to strengthen my iman mm, that's correct i realized i started to become very lax at ibadah in terms of going to the masjid I was just praying at home, around at work, just, you know, just being lax in the masjid. I didn't really want to go to the mosque. It's not like me. I like going to the mosque usually, but I don't want to be there. And when yeah. I did go there, I was having these evil thoughts. Of the masjid. Yeah, yeah. what was happening, I'd be in salah. And then when the imam was reciting for too long, I'd be like, can't you hurry up inside? I don't, I need to go. I, I didn't realize. You, that, that was not you. You're yeah. getting these thoughts. Yeah. Like yeah. Salah, yeah. Can you not hurry up, you know? Yeah, can you just not leave? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I thought maybe that's just was was. In fact, that's was was because when you get these, that you want to go, you don't. Where are you going? <laughs> does it, does it, yeah, yeah. It's a good point. Yeah, well, you you have to question it. Where, where am I going? Yeah. Food, I will eat food. Sleep, I will definitely sleep. <laughs> it's not like I'm in a rush. Yeah. I wanted to get out of there. Yeah. Like that's, yeah. That's, that, 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 you know, one of the, the points I always raise to the people is that when you get these thoughts, you have to question them back. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I getting these Yes. Thoughts? Why? If, like, like, example, you're feeling the rush to leave the salah. Yes. To where then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For example, like there's a brother came uh, the other day is questioning Allah. Then who's there if Allah is not there? Yeah. Yeah. Subhanallah. Yeah. Who's you question it back? Yeah. Or you see, or if you cannot question it back with the knowledge, yes. then you seek refuge to Allah. Yeah. Right. After that, now you've discovered that you've got issues you started reading about the symptoms and everything. What next from started there? Started intensifying then. Feel like whatever was. The there, yeah, he mm. started to manifest. Mm, subhanallah. So, like, I'd be getting, and I noticed prior to that as well, what I forgot to mention, I was getting very short with people. Very, I'd be driving and just mm. like road rage, shouting at people. This is not me. I get really <laughs> angry, really quick. And for my nothing. Family, my family as well, yeah. you know, like, I'm normally quite calm and, you know, reserved and then yeah. like biting at my family members, just sharp with people. Lack of empathy. Yeah, yeah, harsh. yeah. Lack of kindness yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. It's totally out of character. Mm. That's what the Jins are, the, the, because that's what they want to do. They want to create, uh, they want to isolate. Like the quote I always tell you, uh, the, sh- the, 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 the wolves attack the lone sheep. Yeah, yeah. I noticed my relationships were getting more strained. I wasn't going to visit. They, they work, they're working very hard on you to isolate you. Yeah, she, my mother, I used to visit her quite often. I wasn't going for weeks and weeks and not calling her or anything. I started having this feeling like, I'd say it was probably a year leading up to this affliction where I'd felt like nobody loved me. It was weird. She probably hates me and my father, he, he doesn't like me. It's, it's not the feeling. I it's always worse. Yeah, it was, was worse. Because let me put this way. Why do you get thoughts that no one loves me? Who cares if somebody people love you or not? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I mean, Does you know, that make sense? Yeah, we're going, going back to the same. You question it. Why? Yeah, but it made me dislike them. Yeah, you know, the, this is what you should want. This is what this is what one should avoid yeah. to dislike somebody else, unless the person is oppressed. Yes, 
Yes. But if the person has not wronged you, yeah. you just need to question that. I think in my mind I was looking for any excuse of what I believe to be like, don't love me, they like this, see, this animosity to my yeah. family. Yeah, I always um, tell the people the most important love is that Allah. Yeah, it's true. So when Allah loves you, everything else, like He will make the creation love you. Yeah. Yeah, and that's very, very important. Yeah. Due to certain things that were happening, I was becoming more and more negligent, yeah. worship, bad is creeping in, it's just getting weaker. And that's when I made dua, like I mentioned previously, I made dua, I said, Allah, I'm, I want to strive to get to the masjid and be a better Muslim. I realized I was struggling to read the Quran. Every time I tried to read it, I'd be getting tired quickly and I just didn't want to be reading it. And then my ability to read became less and less. Stuck on words where normally it'd be fluent. Strange. Right, after that, you managed to contact somebody? I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I contacted a brother and he gave me some advice and I saw another brother and I went to see him and um, I've sat down his Formed of recitation. Seconds, an entity came forward, came forward and spoke yeah. in a voice that's not my own. Angry, yeah, subhanallah, yeah, yeah, yeah. making certain claims as to who it was. Yes, and so and so did it, so and so did it. Subhanallah. Yeah, that's what they're good. Me, uh, that's what they're good at, you I'm know. Hearing it, mm. I'm present, I can hear this thing, and it was a weird because for me, it's like. You don't expect to hear somebody else's voice from here. It's conscious, fully conscious. Yeah. Really strange. That's how it works, though. That's that's what it is. Yeah. That's what we call it possession because that's a, lo a lot of people deny this. Subhanallah. Yeah, that, you know, that is. To be honest, myself, mm -hmm. I used to be skeptical of people that I'd see on like YouTube videos while making it up in the symptoms. Maybe these guys are just making it up or in the same certainty. Yeah, alhamdulillah. But then what happens? How many sessions? How many times you went? Three sessions with right. the brother in question. Would, and, um, it just got intensified worse and worse when there were more evil voices, laughing, horrible claims it was making, who it was and why it was there. And mm. then it be, to be honest, it's been a blessing. Yeah, alhamdulillah. It increased my ibadah, you know. Increase your iman. My iman, yeah. certainty in the Islam. Alhamdulillah. You know, so now, alhamdulillah, it's, I'm at the masjid every day. So alhamdulillah, that's slide, perfect. Nah, that's perfect, yeah. Increasing in ibadah. Your, uh, yeah, alhamdulillah. Day. One thing I just want to make it clear, inshallah, is that you at the moment you yes. are in the state of being oppressed no doubt yes and your dua allah accept it asp allah says in the hadith al-quds we will save you even now or later so it could be a, a period of time now or later Allah so you Allah just Allah expect Allah. it because yes. you have to have the belief that allah will save With me now yes yeah this is very important yeah, because it's in Hadith al Qulsu. It says, Ya ibadi, inni haram to dhulman ala nafsi. He says, My slaves, me, I made inni haram to dhulman ala nafsi. I made haram dhulm upon me. Wajal to be no kumu haram, and I made haram upon you. Wala ta dhalamu. Do not oppress. And then it goes on and says, Wabi izzati, wabi jalali, la ansura no kumu ala badahin. From my might and majesty, I will save you now or later. This dua, brother, whenever I read, I weep. Because the certainty you need to have. Because yeah. he's the king of kings. I think this thing, whatever was afflicting me, made me doubtful and made sad, like I'm, I'm you know, I know Allah's not going to help me. I started to believe that, like maybe I, I'm being punished or, you know. No, don't, 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 it. don't. It's There's funny. another ayah in Surah Al Mu'minun says, Inna kunna mubtali. We are ever testing our believers. You know, I always put this logic I use on the people. I say, look, if, for example, you have to go to a military, yeah. military, whatever. Yeah, like to become a soldier. Yeah, soldier. Yeah. You will go through tests for you to pass. Yeah, hard tests as well. Yes. <laughs> Islam is the same. Yes. Allah will test you. I'm not comparing Allah with the government. Oh, or, yeah. An analogy, yeah. Yes. See, see. But it's the same. You have to go through tests for you to be safe. I believe yeah. because there's Allah says in, uh, in the Quran, He says, Women and Nasi, my Yakul, Amanna, Bilahu, Bilum, Al Akhir. There's people, verse number seven, who says, We believe in Allah, we believe in Akhirah, but inside they're not believers. Oh, so maybe so, Allah brings about these tests to, the, see to the filter, truthfulness. yeah, to filter. There's another verse, He says, Liamiz Allah, Allah will filter yeah, who's the true believer and who's not. Yeah, but yeah, it's, we, it's made me strive a lot. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, it's like. I feel like Allah has removed everything because I've, I've, I've been alone a lot through the trial. Yeah. So it's forced me like to have certainty and I've, you know, trust in Allah. Yeah, yeah. Trust Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. Dua, Allah brother, dua. You know, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, dua huwa al-ibadah. Dua is the worship. Yes. 
And you know one thing is, I love it. Why? It's because not a lot of people do it. I wasn't doing it. Prior yes, to not a lot of people do it. Not that. Qalil, oh. Allah says, Qalilu min ibadi shakirin. Very little of my slaves are grat- uh, grateful. Yeah. So the dua is very little portion of people make. It's true. It's true. Very little. Affecting your life gets you get caught with. Why? You think that you're the one. I I things. put it this way. I don't put it as a, a neglecting. I put it the certainty. Mm-hmm. The certainty because I have come across a lot of people saying, "I made dua, no answer." No man. No man is wrong. Maybe the response didn't come when you wanted it. You know? Imam, Imam Ibn Qayyim says. When you make the dua and you don't get a response, that is when the test is. Yes, yes. Because you accepted that you get the answer, but you're not getting the answer. That's you've been tested. Yeah, yeah. I ask Allah to accept our duas and I ask Allah to yeah. cure all believing men and women. Then what happened, Bismillah? Then obviously I've been for that treatment and I felt like, you know, it was intensifying pains in my body and I was feeling violently sick. I was vomiting like. At home, I had to sit there. I tried to play. The oh, you're vomiting in the session, in or the session all right? Well. Okay. Like foam was coming out of my mouth. Mm, the really sihir, the sihir. Yeah, mm. it was, the, the entity was claiming it was in my stomach. It was like, how how truthful that is. Um, yeah, all this horrible stuff was coming out, and when I was going home, the same. I feel sick and from a back passage. But I really, but I was losing weight. Just about nearly thirty pounds in a few weeks. My eyes were becoming dark, and light problems. Couldn't sleep. I, everything was just deteriorate. Am I gonna die of serious illness? It was just drastic, like that drastic downfall. Mm, subhanallah, may Allah make it easy for you. And then what happened? And you well, discovered the brother gave me some leaves. I think it's cedar or senna leaves. I can't remember, but um, I'd recite on those and then um, drink those, and it gave me some ease. And with ease, the toilet issues, it, it kind of made it worse, and it got better. I started to go to the toilet. And Alhamdulillah. I got gradual relief. The mm. pains were still there, and the emotions went from. I noticed from being really emotional and crying and thinking I was going to die to being angry, get aggressive for no reason. Just Sometimes, like in the street, I'd be getting angry with people with a car. The, these are these are two main these one and two. The one you mentioned, yes, this is the pool of shaitan. The main symptoms of possession is that you will find individual from being normal yeah. to very aggressive. Extremely aggressive. I, I have thoughts about hitting people. Yeah, from being aggressive. normal again. Yeah. To very emotional, start crying for absolutely no reason. It's almost like schizophrenia. Yeah, like yeah. Normal. Masjid, pray for people, greeting brothers, come out onto the street, and then just turn into a, like, for any little thing, angry. And I'd be looking at people and thinking, like, thinking horrible thought that I want to hit people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, no yeah that's crazy. Yeah, mm. absolutely crazy. Just, you know, I just want to hit this guy. And I don't, obviously, he's not done anything to me. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> correct. Yeah. Um, they just wanted to take you to prison, innit? Yeah, to destroy probably. your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the the sihir was to destroy you. Yeah. Um, the sihir was to you destroy know, it's you. funny you should say that. During the session being re- read upon, it made that claim. It said we've been sent to destroy this. Because, you, mm. know, so. you, know, you know, you know, get these thoughts to start beating people for what? Absolutely not. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. You don't get this. And after that, you came and find out me out. Yes, randomly. Yeah. yeah. I was looking for, because I felt like the sessions weren't giving me, so I got a bit desperate. And maybe I try somebody else. And that's mm. when I saw your videos. I was learning a lot from the information you put. I was really valuable. It kind of helped me in terms of, I felt the brother couldn't diagnose me correctly. Maybe he was, you know, unable to do it. From seeing the symptoms you described, a certain treatment, I thought, maybe they contact this brother. Yeah, 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 that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. We, I've read on you, Alhamdulillah. We found out there's black magic, and there's ashq jinn, and there's ifrit jinn. Yeah, this is normal to people who've got magic really? because they sometimes they send some type of genes to strengthen. Yeah, it made claims that it'd been sent. So it's like you don't think you've got enemies or people that want. As a believer, you have to believe that you will have enemies. Expect it from some Muslim people because obviously. You know, the, the, remember, I quoted a verse before. Yes. Sorry, I interrupted. These who have beard yeah. and have turbans and have. Their action justify who they are. Does that make sense? No, no, no. You should not be dis- the action as a believer. Allah, you have to have a good, good manners. Yes. Very good manners. So if you are not having the good manners, what there? Yeah. You know, you don't have belief then. 
because manners is what is important for a muslim for example now somebody has beard and has a um, thobe and has turban and has and he goes and start snitching people Yes, <laughs> or that person start going or causing oppression. Yeah, you start thinking, are you okay? Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Yeah. It's true. So this belief is, yani, of people who claim to be Muslims. Yeah, yeah. And doing other than It's like other. A shocking revelation yeah, for me. You know, yeah, like yeah. Somebody's put magic on you, and then it's coming to terms with that mentally as well. It can be like. It's Alhamdulillah now we've cleared it Alhamdulillah you went And the jinn left your body Alhamdulillah yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did you feel when the jinn left When I did the first session The jinn left the body you, you saw the body acting violently like, it, And I'm witnessing this Body's convulsing, moving around Legs in the air shaking And I'm sweating profusely Yeah, yeah crazy for us sweating Absolutely madness And obviously your technique with the head Felt like it was penetrating deep Inside And whatever was there was yeah. Didn't like it Witnessing its reaction It's been conscious It's really strange And then obviously as the legs were used We were starting to lift And I slumped Slumped You collapsed I was back in control And then I was off for a few days I was all right And then the symptoms slowly start creeping yeah. In the leg Stomach And I, I yeah. feel like It's strange Almost like Maybe how a pregnant woman would feel Inside the abdomen I feel like a pulse Pump like that yeah. And then my lower back It moved to there And there Then the shoulders pulsing Here pul Eyes blocked can't, Nasal congestion And what did you do? Headache. You started yeah, following the oils that you gave Yeah these oils, oils isn't it? These yeah. oils. Tell me about these oils These I gave you I think these I mean, two isn't it? The best Relief I've had from these. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Allah. Give me the advice. I recited on them and I'd apply them both morning and night. I go to bed. Did, did you use one. this one or this one or oh, do you use both I of the at the same time? Okay. One and then the other. Okay, mashallah. All over the body. Give me a weird burning sensation. I'd feel good. Them symptoms would just go away. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, they'd last all day and then after my grip, that pain starts creeping, creeping in. Yeah. I'd do that before going to bed. Relief. Alhamdulillah. It seemed like by the permission of Allah. They yeah, yeah, they work out really because the, these oil uh, oil mixed with herbs, yeah. and they got very nice smell. Beautiful smell. Yeah, yeah. that the smell shaitan always hate the But smell. The relief was instant. Wallahi, instant. <laughs> That's I'd it. Put that on from the yeah. pain. Bang. And, and there's this one here Which is I've never given you And there's this one here Which I've never given you This one is uh, When somebody has got disease Skin disease I think you yeah. told me your face Or something like that really Yeah so I'm, I was preparing I was preparing to give you this Yeah Like really scabbed I didn't tell you this is I applied it inside the nostril I got a bit of relief It started to heal up And it's getting better Alhamdulillah so It even helped in there as well You know Why are you feeling issues in there? No. There's a hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Inna shaitani yabithu ala khushumi." Shaitan leaves there. Right, that's where the pressure is. Right. Yeah, he goes inside and here. stays there. You'll find symptoms of sinuses, breathing. blockage, ah, breathing. Yes. 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 What yes. happens is, I feel a pressure here. It's like a constant headache. Mm. Then it'll go here. I can't breathe. One nostril will work. Then it'll go find them. Yeah, and it's, it's got no flu or, or anything. Eyes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eyesight because of the sinuses, I can't see from yeah. my eyes, blurred vision. Do you have sinuses? I went to the doctor, it's perfectly normal. Yeah. I see any problem? That's why Muhammad, so, the hadith of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's why he is the messenger of Allah. Yeah, because he said in the hadith, Inna shaitan yabithu ala khushumi. Shaitan leaves. I've been living with yeah. this until it's the truth. Mm. That is yeah, yeah. alhamdulillah. We ask Allah to make it easy yeah. for the believing men and women. Alhamdulillah, these oils have helped you because of, by, by the will of Allah. Yeah. And alhamdulillah, we'll, inshallah, do another session today and see how it goes, inshallah. Yeah. Uh, one thing is I would like to point out is that there's a jinni called a stalker jinn. Yeah. The jinni stalker jinn is one of the most very bad jinn. Is that the one that's... It possesses you or is around you? Is around you. It comes in, it comes in and out. In and out. Because after me having a few sessions, uh, one session with you, yeah. and then you went home, after a couple of days you start, you told me that you're yeah, feeling like this there. shadow and things like that. I made sure, like, I don't, I've got a TV, but I never put it on. I don't, I'm not interested in it. But um, I'll be sitting there just like reading or whatever. I see the see like shadows go past. And every now and again in that, I see little lights. Weird lights for that. I look, I can feel a presence and start playing Surah Bakara yeah, yeah. in the room. Since that, I've noticed it feel, I feel at ease. I don't feel that 
Yeah. Inshallah, what I will do is, Inshallah, I will give you some stuff to use at home, yeah. which will help a lot. Because you know, the stalker gene is the very bad gene. Mm. He looks at the, at, at the least opportunity that you are forgetful, yeah. you are lax, and then they pounce. They are afraid to come to you. Right. Absolutely afraid. Yeah, I will explain this in the later later video, inshallah, because it's a big subject and under timing, we've got very short timing. So the stalker gene, I think that's what is there at the moment. Subhanallah. Mm, I think because... Do you think that's because of just general or just because of the magic? Of, uh, it could be two ways. It could be th through magic. Number one, that there's one gene who's outside commanding another gene who's inside. Or there's one gene who's outside, just comes in and out. So it's like a team. Yes. Team effort. Yes. Well. Of course, they were there. They could they, they, they share team. They, they, they don't do it alone. Team yeah. effort. Yeah. And I noticed, though, for, it's like I get this feeling I didn't want to come. Like when I started to, when I'm knowing I'm coming here, eye affliction, then breathing for pain, chest pain. Yeah. It's like I think this thing didn't want me to come here. Yeah, that's correct. You know, the, so yeah, these are very important. I'll point out again, I've pointed out before, yeah. is that you, as a human being, you have to question why. Yeah, randomly. Yes, why, 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 like why am I feeling this way? Yeah, and for me, it's like to the doctors. I've had, I had the sinuses checked out, nothing wrong with me. So you shouldn't have any breathing problems, no problem in the head, absolutely healthy. Alhamdulillah, I'm feeling all these afflictions. Like the body is not normal, not connected. The right side's not working, and the left side, like it's not your body, yeah, isn't it's it? Not mine anymore, yeah. Yeah. Someone else is in charge of it. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. ask Allah to make it easy for you and every brother who's watching this podcast. Yeah. These oil, I'm going to leave a link down there and I ask Allah to make it easy for the brother here and you fellows who are watching, make dua for this brother and for every believing man and woman. وآخر دعوانا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق